Welcome to an overview of outdoor learning in Scottish education. So, what is outdoor learning all about? Contrary to popular misconception, it isn't actually all about the rural environment or the Duke of Edinburgh, where you would often find many a teacher running away in fear of a trowel and a cold night in a tent. If we stop to look into it, we can use both rural and urban environments to plan inspiring academic and holistic learning experiences. Our teaching and learning does not and should not always remain behind desks and classrooms, where it can often be a challenge to maintain focus. But please don't worry, we aren't asking you to say goodbye to your classrooms. We would just like you to open them up, where appropriate, and in the following places. You could use the school grounds. You could use the surrounding community. And at times, perhaps further afield. Therefore, it really can take place in our natural, built and cultural heritage. There is so much on our doorstep. But why should we plan for outdoor learning across our curriculum areas? Strathclyde, Edinburgh, Glasgow University and beyond have conducted research to confirm a multitude of reasons as to why. Here are a few examples which help lead us on our path to excellence and equity. In terms of achieving excellence, for learning and teaching, outdoor learning creates a reinforcement of theoretical knowledge through experience-based learning. For health and well-being, Having frequent experience of being outside produces positive physical, mental and emotional benefits that affect every child's overall development. For developing a young workforce, by exploring and developing a wide variety of transferable skills, visiting and working alongside rural and urban partners forges links between learning and the world of work. In terms of achieving equity, outdoor learning is a pivotal tool in closing the poverty-related attainment gap. It has been identified that most Scottish pupils in poverty do not live in poor areas. Poverty is an issue for all schools. Socio-economic background has far more influence on attainment than the school attended. Multiple research initiatives have proven that the effect of the outdoor setting for learning on underachieving pupils was hugely notable, improving engagement, contribution and self-confidence to match that of their peers, especially for those who are vulnerable or have additional support needs. Learning outdoors is about engaging young people in many different ways. Using multi-sensory and experiential approaches encourages all young people to become involved in emotional, physical, aesthetic, spiritual and cognitive experiences as part of their learning. I like this scenario. Not only do we have to adapt how we assess to meet the needs of our pupils, we must adapt how we teach. So how do we do this? A whole school approach should be taken. Whole school reforms make a difference when they incorporate a focus on improving attainment with a shared strategic plan for academic, social and emotional learning. All staff, pupils, parents and partners should work together to achieve the following vision. To embed regular, frequent, enjoyable and challenging outdoor learning opportunities in the curriculum so that young people are participating and learning in a range of progressive and creative outdoor learning experiences to achieve excellence and equity.